Hello everyone, welcome to this online tutorial. My name is Hussein and I am from the UTS library. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to use data analysis, which is a research tool you can use to access information on companies listed in the Australian Securities Exchange. Data analysis is quite a useful tool for business students, but also for people working in banking or financial services sector. But if you just happen to be interested in the ASX, you can also use data analysis. So let's get started. To access data analysis, go to UTS Library website. On the right hand side, you'll see a link to find databases. Click on it. You'll see all our databases listed alphabetically under different categories. Data analysis is a business database, so we'll click on business. And we have all our business databases listed in alphabetical order. So keep scrolling until you find data analysis. Here it is, data analysis premium. We'll click on available online, which will take us to the actual catalog record. And then within that record, under View Online, Full Text Availability, please click on Data Analysis Premium. You will need to log in using your student number and your um, usual IT password. And once you have logged in, you'll see the Data Analysis Premium homepage, which looks like this. The homepage contains some useful information on what's happening in the market. For example, any market sensitive announcements will appear here, uh, Australasian market, that's uh, ASX and also New Zealand market. You can see what's happening there, overseas market. Data analysis contains information on Australian companies, uh, but it also gives you a, a snapshot of what's happening in Dow Jones or S&P 500 or NASDAQ. What's happening with commodities and currencies? and also what the directors and shareholders are buying and selling, in case that interests you. So that's the home page. A more useful tool is Company Report. Um, if you click on Company Report, it will tell you that Company Reports provide you with comprehensive history of all companies listed on the ASX. It's quite comprehensive. So let's search for a company. You can search for a company using this search box, um, which is at the bottom of the page, and you can, uh, you can search for a company using the name of the company or part of the name of the company, or you can use the ASX code or the ticket symbol. So for example, if I was looking for information on, let's say, Westpac Banking Corporation, um, I could type Westpac, which is part of the name of the company, and uh, that will take me uh, to the actual company report. Or if I know the ASX code, I could type the ASX code as well. So I know the ASX code for Westpac is WBC. So I'll just type WBC and click search. And that analysis offers me a couple of results, but I think it's the first one I'm after, WBC, Westpac Banking Corporation Status Trading. So I can just click on the code which will take me to the company report. So what you're looking here is the full company report. Um, and you can navigate the report using the navigation menu on the left hand side. So at the top we have corporate details, location of the company, uh, when was the last annual report, last AGM, etc. Business summary will tell you a little bit about the nature of the company. What is it that they trade or what's the nature of their business? Um, director and management will obviously give you information on how the board um, has been set up, uh, who are the individuals uh, in the board. And also, if you're interested, you can find out director's remuneration, their profiles, etc. Operational history will give you all sorts of um, interesting updates on what the company has been has been doing recently. So, for example, you can see Westpac has just announced a new CEO, 
Um, and if you want to read more about that announcement, you can just click on the PDF and that will give you access to the full text of the press release from the company. Issued Capital will tell you how many shares this company has issued to the general public. Corporate actions is probably an important section. Um, this is where they announce any significant um, corporate actions such as bonus issues, cash issues, or company reconstructions. And the price history gives you a history of um, the, the share price, what's been happening with the share price of this company. And you can also download the, the price history in a spreadsheet if you're interested. Analyst forecasts are essentially forecasts made by experts, um, brokers and analysts, and they sometimes speculate or um, uh, I suppose um, reflect on what the, what the future holds for this company, what the future trajectory for this company looks like. Dividend history, as the name suggests, is the history of the dividends that's been paid out. Um, this is where you'll find uh, cents per share uh, information. Um, controlled entities are essentially all subsidiary companies uh, that operate under the Westpac Banking Corporation umbrella. Uh, segment performance will give you how this company is performing across different industries and also across different geographic locations. And financial data is probably a very important section um, for some of you. This is where you can find profit and loss statements, revenue, um, etc. ASX announcements are where important announcements are made by this company. And finally, last but not least, annual reports. Um, publicly listed companies are required to produce annual reports and in here uh, you can find annual reports going back to many years. See all the way till 1967 for example. Okay, so that's the company report which you can, as I said, navigate using the left-hand navigation panel. If you want to download the entire company report, you can do so as well. You can click on full report and it will allow you to either print or download the report to your computer if you want to access it later without having to go to data analysis again. Okay, let's have a look at um, other features data analysis offers. So, so far I've shown you how to look for information at a company level. But what if you want to find information across multiple companies or let's say across industry, a particular industry, a particular sector? Or you want to compare uh, two companies side by side? Um, that's also possible and that's where you need to use data analysis search tool. Data analysis offers quite a sophisticated search tool um, and we won't have time to go into each of them but what I would show you today is advanced search which is already very powerful. So let's go to advanced search. Once you click on advanced search you'll see that the search is divided into three segments. You got section A, section B and section C. This is where you have to actually construct a search. So it's not a simple keyword search, you have to construct a search. So you have to define the criteria of what you're searching. So for example, under section A, this is where you can define the scope. Are you searching all listed companies or are you searching specific companies? Let's search for all listed companies for now. And are you searching ASX companies or New Zealand companies? So let's leave it at ASX for now. You may be familiar with uh, what's known as GIGS sectors. So GIGS stand for Global Industry, um, I think, Classification Standard. And that's basically a way of clustering similar industries together. So if you want to find out, for example, um, who are the top earning uh, listed companies, listed mining companies in ASX, you'll have to choose the GIGS sector for mining. So if you click on GIGS sector, 
you'll see energy, materials, industrial. So I think mining is under materials. And then you'll see Geek's industry group and again materials. And then you'll see Geek's industry and you can choose metals and mining. So we have chosen all listed companies in ASX that are in the mining and metal sector. And then over here in section B, we can choose what exactly are we, are we looking for? What piece of information of, of these companies that we're interested in? So if you click on selection, it will tell you all sorts of different pieces of information that you can search. But let's say I'm interested in uh, profit and loss. Let's say I'm interested in the total revenue. So I can click on profit and loss. And then under subsection, I can choose total revenue. And I can choose to rank these mining companies from highest to lowest revenue. So I'll choose the rank highest. And then I'll need to add this query to section C. So you can see under my query list, total revenue rank highest being added. That's my search uh, criteria. And then I can click search. And here are the results. So you can see it has listed 621 mining companies um, by the revenue. So BHP, for example, has the total revenue that's more than any other companies and so and so forth and so on. If you wish to download this list, you can download in a spreadsheet. So here's the download button. So that's quite useful. If you want to go back to your search page to edit the search, you can click Edit Search and that will take you to the previous page. If you want to clear everything and start a new search, you need to clear search because otherwise this query will be sitting there. So if you click Clear Search, it will disappear. And now you can construct a new search. So let's try something different. Let's say we're looking for specific companies this time. And if we want to compare, let's say, the four big banks. Um, and again, we want to rank them by their total revenue. Um, I can type, uh, I can type the codes of these banks. But if you if you don't know the code, the ASX code, you can look up the code as well. So, what are the top four banks in Australia? We have CBA, Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Then we have WBC, West Bank Banking Corporation. Then we have NAB, National Australia Bank and we have AMZ Bank as well, so those four. And I don't need to choose the gig sector now because I'm really looking for specific companies. And again, in section B, I can choose financial data, profit and loss, total revenue, and I can um, sort it by rank highest again. And I'll need to add that query to my query list, which is here, and then I can click search. So here are the big four banks um, by, uh, by their um, revenue. So you can see CBA has the top revenue, followed by um, Westpac, followed by AMZ, and then the NAB. And you can download the spreadsheet as well if you wish to do so. So that's the search tool. What I've shown you so far is just a very few features of Data Analysis Premium. What I recommend you do is that explore data analysis uh, in your own time, um, see what it has to offer, play with different search parameters to see what you can find. You can also click on the help button on the top right hand side, which will take you to the data analysis help page and you will find online tutorials in there as well and also um, some guides in PDF format that you can download and will tell you more about how to use data analysis. So I hope that was useful. Um, if you have any questions, you can always ask a librarian um, by going to the website. I'll show you where you can contact us. So if you go to the ETS library homepage, you'll see there's a link to ask a librarian page and you can contact us via online chat, email, or by telephone, or also in person. Thank you for your attention, and all the best with your assignments.